I think the next thing I'm going to work on is putting our settee back cushions into place over here. That is it. Our boat has cushions again. The reason this one's so wrinkly is we actually made it a little bit too long actually so it's kind of squished but it doesn't really matter too much because this is just a temporary cushion for while the refrigerator is in there. Yep. Red. So hey, I'm trying to figure out where to put this uh, propane alarm. And I'm kind of torn on this, because you know the propane, it runs from the back of the boat in the propane locker, which if there's a leak there, it should go outside the boat. But then there's a hose that goes from the propane locker to the stove, which actually, if there was a leak in the hose, it would go into the bilge. But then if there was a leak behind the stove, it would basically, fill up this area that's beneath the stove so i don't know i'm kind of torn on where to put the uh the propane alarm but i think i think the safest logic is to put it in the place where there's the biggest chance of an open flame and obviously that's the stove so my thought is to mount it kind of right here because i can drill through this little you know bulkhead there uh for the wires and then I was thinking about possibly drilling a small hole in this piece of wood because if there is a leak in the uh, in the hose behind the stove, it's basically going to come down. It's going to fill up this area here. And if it does get into this area, it would kind of seep out of this hole and hopefully trip the alarm. And I, I, I still I don't know if that's good logic or not, but that's kind of the best I've got. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I have the propane alarm hooked up now. I'm going to test it. Okay, now that the oil is all heated up and the impurities are suspended in the oil, we can extract it with the help of this oil extractor. And the long skinny tube that goes to the oil extractor goes down the dipstick hole, way, way, way down to the bottom. And then you pump it like so to create a suction. Oh yeah, look at it go. See, it just puts a vacuum on the tube and sucks it right out of the engine. I forgot to change the filter. That's after I drained the oil and put the new oil in it. I realized I forgot to change the filter. Now, I could say that this is because I'm concentrating too much on the videos and not enough on the work, which would essentially be me placing the blame on you. And yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. That This is your fault, so thanks a lot. Oh, <laughs> no.
Strap wrench here. Hopefully not too much oil comes out since it's full of brand new freaking oil. <laughs> Never have happened if you weren't to stretch me. Make more videos, Ben. We want more videos, Ben. <laughs> what about my knees? <sighs> well, it's really on there. That's moving a little bit. God, oh, idiot, put this on here so tight. Wow, it's hot in here. Like the freaking Amazon. My God. It's like it's part of the engine. Holy crap. Got it, sucker. All right. Oh, luckily, I brought some paper towels with me. Excellent forethought bin. Bringing these towels. Way to use your brain. Look where your freaking brain was when you forgot to change the filter in the first place, but you are now redeemed from your prior stupidity. New filter going on. Mm, I'm not gonna put that one on there. It's quite so freaking tight. My god, okay. Let's see if we can get out of here. It's easier to get in than out. Ugh. Okay, turn off the light. Okay. That went so bad. Good morning. First thing I'm gonna do today is install the anchor rope. And I'm installing it from the inside of the boat. So I've got it run out through here. And I've got to poke it up through the, uh, yeah. I think I have this flaked out enough where it should just pull out up there, but we will find out momentarily. And of course the camera's completely fogged up. Crap! If you look down inside the pipe there, you can see the monkey fist that I made. And the purpose of the monkey fist is to keep this rope attached to the boat should the, you know, should all of the rope be out. Now, this is just a safety measure. Obviously you wouldn't be anchoring or anything against, you know, this, this monkey fist, but I'm just gonna hook the end of our anchor line to the chain using this shackle. So it is now attached, but now the last thing you do is actually to safety wire that pin in place so that it cannot unscrew. Something like that. Ta da Okay, now oh, I'm about to put on this. Um, it is a type of varnish made by this company. Watco Teak Oil. It's kind of a blend of oil and varnish. It soaks into the wood and uh, and sets up inside the wood. And um, I like the stuff. Really easy to put on. And it's uh, less maintenance than actual varnish. So I like it. Here we go. There you go. There's the finished product. I don't know if the lighting here is going to really do it justice but looks pretty darn good if you ask me 
Not bad at all. Cool. All right, so I haven't done a great job filming today, but I wanted to show you a couple things I accomplished. One was I have sanded and varnished the teak trim that goes around this forward hatch. I also fitted this hatch cover. Now I made this hatch cover at home and brought it with me, but I put the new hardware around there and you know set the snaps into this thing. Now I actually made this. You know I am becoming quite the uh, the seamstress or seamster or whatever. Uh, now I haven't done anything to that hatch there because I am not willing to unhook the air conditioner long enough to work on that hatch trim so that one's gonna have to wait. I also I drilled a hole in this anchor shank right here so that this pin could go through further up instead of going through this bigger hole back here. And what that did, that pulled the whole anchor this way and now the roller is engaging very well with, you know, the crook uh, up there at the anchor shank. And that also brings the anchor further back, uh, which is closer to the boat. So all of that is, is good. I think this is going to work just fine. And I also did a little bit of varnishing up here. I varnished these blocks here. There's one on the other side too. There's little hooks that go on these and they're, they basically help you store your, your, uh, your running rigging, your lines. So I varnished this block and the one on the other side. And as you already know, you know, varnished, uh, you know, these doors on the inside of the, or not doors, these uh, companionway trim pieces. And those look super good. Quiet tool. Okay, and here's what's going on inside the boat. I mean, this is just kind of my my workbench area. I have all this stuff kind of cleaned up and organized now. Molly's bed's just kind of a catch-all right now, and this side is pretty much put together. So yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much it. This trip is is basically over at this point. Uh, I'm going. Uh, well, I'm leaving here tomorrow. I'm actually meeting the girls in uh, in Savannah. They want to do this pirate weekend thing, so I'll uh, I'll have to show you what's going on with that. Okay, see you tomorrow. Tamby. Yes. I can't help but notice that you are not dressed up as a pirate. No. Why is that? Because I don't want to be the only one. Up as a pirate. You're not the only one dressed up as a pirate. There's you, a pirate there. I mean, There's meaning, a pirate. Oh. Meaning you don't dress up as me. Oh no, no. Mm -hmm. Here, let me let me see your uh, what you're wearing, Molly. See, she's got the beads. She's got the pirate shirt. Pirate girl. So let me see your tattoos. Tattoos. Yes. Okay. Oh, crossbones. Was this very painful to get, Molly? No. Well, you're a lot tougher than I am. Do you miss the water? Yeah. I miss it a lot. Probably be a lot more water in our future. What do you think? Excited about that. We're looking forward to getting back into the clear blue water instead of kind of the you know the green stuff, but this isn't bad, it's just not Bahama water, you know. So, anyways, wrap up this video, Tambi, right now, putting the pressure on you. Do it. How do you what do you mean wrap it up? Alligator. See you later, alligator. That's all you got? I don't know what you want me to say. That Wrap was, it up. That was actually pretty good. I think people like it. Nice job, Tammy. Thanks. <laughs> okay, now that the engine is all heated up and the all the uh, impurities and such as that are suspended in the oil now, we can get them out of the engine. And that is done with the help of this little guy here, this is actually one of Tamby's bongs that has been retrofitted into an oil extractor. I'll cut that out.